Hey guys, welcome back to the latest Travel Tip Tuesday. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a few of the most helpful tips I found for traveling to the Patagonia region of South America. So tip number one is to pack a bunch of layers. Due to the sheer fact that Patagonia weather is unpredictable, you need to have different layers and different clothes for different conditions. Over the course of the two times that I've been down there, I've had sunny days where I was hot wearing shorts and short sleeves, and then I had snowy days where I was wearing four layers and a waterproof jacket. So there's a wide range of unpredictable weather when you're down there in the southern tip of South America. So pack different layers because it is essential to change the amount of clothes you have on to keep yourself in a comfortable temperature. So tip number two is for you photographers out there who are watching this video, and that is to go in the months of late March, April, and early May. Due to the fact that that is the Patagonian fall, it is beautiful when you get there. There's fall colors everywhere. The trees are red, yellow, orange, and awesome colors to pair up with the amazing scenery and mountains that you get down there in the region. And it's one of my favorite places that I've ever seen in the fall season. Tip number three is to rent an RV rather than staying in hotels. Due to the sheer lack of people in this region of the world, there are very few options when it comes to accommodation, and the few options that there are makes them relatively expensive, which makes renting an RV the best option for your bank account because you get a portable home base in the RV as well as accommodation and transportation. Having an RV also allows you to get more within the nature of the area. You can stay at campgrounds within the national parks rather than staying in the main towns in the hotels outside of the parks. So you're closer to the locations and it's easier for you to get to the parks to see the scenery because you don't have to drive from the faraway town. So tip number four is to not restrict yourself by traveling on land only. You can also travel on the sea. This region of the world also has an abundance of wildlife and things to see on its coastline. So if you have a chance, definitely get on a boat tour or on an adventure on the sea to see things from a different way than you would on land. When I was in Ushuaia, Argentina, we took a beautiful boat tour during the day out to an island which had an abundance of penguins. We also saw a lot of other seabirds as well as sea lions on this route. And we had a bunch of photo opportunities and just a different way to see the nature of the location rather than just staying on land the whole time and seeing the mountains. So tip number five is to be prepared for long days of travel. You probably have seen the beautiful scenery of the region of Patagonia. This is Mount Fitzroy on here and there's a bunch of different national parks with incredible scenery, but what you don't really see in the videos that you're watching or what you don't hear about in something that you're reading is that there is a very large distance in between any of these locations. We had travel days of up to eight hours of driving in between national parks to see the scenery down there. So if you're not used to car trips and uh, you don't like driving too much, then it would probably be best to have a friend with you so you can split up the driving or to plan your trip accordingly that you have stops in between the locations. And the last tip, tip number six, is to pack the best hiking shoes you have possible. Because of the region, there is a lot of mountains and a lot of hiking. Every time you go somewhere new, there's a new trail with a beautiful destination at the end, but sometimes the trails can be up to three, four, five hours. Some tracks even have four or five days worth of hiking. So pack the best shoes you have, that way you can be most comfortable and do the most hiking you can while you're in the region to thoroughly enjoy the location that you're in because hiking is the best way to see some of these national parks and to get some of these iconic photos that you've seen and to see the iconic mountains that are on brands such as Patagonia. So by packing the best shoes, your feet are gonna be the most comfortable and your feet will be thanking you later because you're not gonna be hiking in terrible sneakers. So that's it for uh, this Travel Tip Tuesday. Thanks for watching guys. And if you enjoyed these tips from Patagonia, definitely check out my past Patagonia videos. I have a bunch on my channel and I'll link a few down below as well as up in that corner or one of those two corners. And yeah, definitely go check those out because you'll also see a bunch of scenery from those videos as well as all my personal photographs. So thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.